They say the niggas always already queer. That's exactly the point. It means that the impact is not, that the, that is an impact turn uh, to the affirmative. That that it is. I be having dreams of chocolate covered watermelons. It's a case turn to the affirmative because if we uh, we are saying that queer bodies are not able to survive. That it necessarily means that the body uh, of the nigga is not able to survive. I be having dreams of chocolate covered watermelons. When the nigga uh, sees these pains and suffering that he can only uh, envision himself, that he uh, does not see another nigga that he uh, can feel sympathy for or embrace, but rather uh, that, uh, that that otherness gets obliterated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of who even wrote this shit? She clack clack. Man, so the nigga, I've been disfigured, lynching, trauma enough. The inside the trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, of who even wrote this shit? Uh, of who even wrote this shit? Allowing, uh, forcing other bodies to tell uh, narrations of the, the, the she clack clack whiteness and uh, the violence that whiteness does. We uh, say that that is something that we will. And y'all, I be having dreams of chocolate covered watermelons. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. She clack clack, I be having dreams of chocolate covered watermelons. 